Hello and welcome to Elite Geospatial, and this is your host, Raymond Fenton Shamaki. Uh, today we are going to be looking at another index. We're going to be looking at the normalized difference water index, and we'll also look at the modify normalized difference water index calculation. And we're going to be using ArcGIS Desktop 10.8.2. So well, before we go into the demonstration, I will just take a glance at some of the like, uh, materials I prepare. All right, so, so what is normalized differential water index? Difference or differential, uh, you can interswitch them anyway. It's used for water bodies analysis. The index uses green and near infrared bands of remote sensing images like Landsat, like Sentinel, the NDWI can enhance water information efficiently in most cases. It is sensitive to build up land and result in overestimated water bodies. The NDWI product can be used in conjunction with NDVI change products to access context of apparent changes, change areas. Water bodies Having low reflectance, it only reflects within visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Water bodies in their liquid state are generally high reflectance on blue, that's between 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 ion meter. And same thing with the spectrum than green and also red spectrum. Clear water having greatest reflectance in the blue portion of the visible spectrum. So water appear blue. Tupic water has higher reflectance in visible spectrum. There is no reflection in near infrared and beyond. So this uh, NDWI was developed by Gao in 1996 to enhance the water related features of the landscape. So how is this calculated? The index uses the near infrared and the short wavelength. As the man in this near infrared and the short wavelengths. NDWI can be calculated by the following formula. So NDWI near infrared by the short uh, minus the short wavelength divide by near infrared plus the short wavelength infrared so the bands that are used for the ndwi for lancer 7 is band 4 minus band 5 divide by band 4 plus band 5, band 5 which means we're using band 4 and 5 but then we're subtracting band 4 from band 5 and then we divide them add band 4 to band 5 in lancer 8 we have band Five and band six, we subtract band five from band six, and divide band five plus band six. But result apart from above formula is poor in quality. The pure water reflectant reflect neither reflect near infrared nor short wavelength. The formula of NDWI then modified by you in two thousand five. It uses green and short. Uh, wavelength infrared band okay so we're going to look at uh, that one also we're going to use this very formula to calculate for the NDWI and then we're also going to look at the modified NDWI not NDWBI uh, sorry so the MNDWI is equals to green minus short wavelength divide by green plus the short wavelength so bands used for this are band 3 and band 6 for landsat 8 band 2 and band 5 for landsat 7 okay so we're going to do the two and look at the difference since uh the other researchers said that the result gotten from the band 5 and 6 
is poor, so we're going to use band 3 and band 6 for Landsat 8 that we're using. And then we're going to compare them and see how it's going to be. So on the other, similarly, normalize difference water index. Value lies between minus 1 to 1. Generally, water body is value greater than is greater than 0 0.5. Vegetation has more smaller value, which distinguish vegetation from water body easily. Built of futures having positive value lies from 0 to 0 0.2. All right, so with this uh, little, just a read, write up notes, um, we will go into ArcGIS to have a demonstration. So our bands are going to be band three and band six for the modified and band uh, five and band six for the, just the NDWI. So we are going to um, have we're using raster calculator for this calculation so you go to catalog and you go to system toolboxes then you go down to spatial analyst and you go down to map up, map algebra and then raster calculator you double click so we have band 5 so first you're going to apply this function fluid double click on it now we'll click band 5 minus just like the way you punch your calculator but this time you're punching it using an image minus band 6 then divide by band 5 oh sorry float again oh well, it will still work band 5 plus band 6 So our output let's leave it at the default folder. So I'm going to click on OK and then we wait for result. So the NDWI has been done. So let's, before we do comparison, let's look at the modified NDWI. And so you still go back and press the raster calculator. And then we're going to use the float option. And this time we're going to use band three minus band six. Then we're going to divide. We're still going to use the float. Band 3 plus band 6. Then we're going to... I'm leaving at the uh, default output, but you can... You always change it to where you want it to be. But I'm just deciding since it's a demonstration, I'm leaving at the default folder, which is uh, uh, HP and in document and ArcGIS and default geo database right, and then this is the name of the file i'm going to click on ok so we have both been done here so now let's look at this result so I'm going to first the first one is the normal NDWI and then the second for the one on the first rule here is the modified NDWI so let's um, Okay. Let's do the same thing to this so that we will look at the two of them together.
Okay. So what are we looking at? Um, it says waters are. So let me remove this and this. So this is the result we have for for the the modified, and then this is the result we have. For the normal so from the normal we can see that these days are the value allocated for waters minus so we have minus 0 0.6 so if you look at it, it is within this axis but then these are showing uh, other values anyway Okay, so the higher value, let's look at what we said, the values for this will be, they said water index value lies between this and this water, what this is okay, value is greater than 0 0.5, all right, all right, all right. So I was trying to, uh -huh. so this portion, this very area is talking about, uh, it's been a water level area the index of water. I think same thing with uh, this one. That's why you're seeing all of this. Yes, that's why you're seeing all of this. So I don't really have much in, in explanation to this. I don't know whether it was properly done or it requires any atmospheric condition. I don't have much ideas. I'm just using last the calculator to show you how you can calculate the index. So if you have any much explanation regarding this index, you will drop it on the comment section so that we also can learn from it. So this is what I want to show you today and um, you'll hear from me soon. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video. So till I come your way next time, it's bye-bye.